Hello. So, traveling all the time, I wanted to take you a little bit through, not a full what I eat in a day, there's loads of that, but how I eat when I'm traveling, what I buy from the supermarkets, and I'm gonna let you in on a little secret about me and the bit of an addiction that I have. This is my fridge. <laughs> So I'm gonna start off with my addiction. I'm gonna come clean about this. I do spend a lot of money. It's a bit of a problem and everybody who knows me personally knows what I'm like. I really like different drinks. So no, not alcohol. I'm not drinking probably six plus years now, but I really like different sports drinks uh, and other things. But liquid death to begin with is the single best tasting water I've ever had in my life, but you're not here for the water, but that's fine. So I have a wide range of drinks from water, caffeine, uh, something else with caffeine in, uh, aloe vera drinks, just because they're really nice, protein drinks, and some uh, orange juice. But come and bring yourself into the fridge. Fridge, fridge a little <laughs> bit better, you tell I'm tired. So when I am away, a big thing is prepping. So I will, on the first night when I get to go shopping, I will buy like turkey mints and either rice or pasta and just make a super simple, either like bolognese or uh, chili and just try and prep for each day. So in the daytime, I'll have like one of these as my full sort of in the day meal. So I can take it out with me, usually I'm eating it cold, but whatever, does a job. Uh, we have some yogurts, orange juice, oranges, chicken, spinach, loads of avocados, um, mostly in the evenings I'll just eat chopped up steak with a bit of rice, sometimes fries if it's been a big day, today's been a big day. Um, peppers, things that are just really easy to buy, they're gonna be fresh. It's really difficult in other countries sometimes to eat like pre-prepared things, uh, particularly here in the US. There's a lot of ingredients in pre-prepared things. So it's about making something simple. So it's like bolognese, uh, pasta, simple rice, getting really good citrus fruits, bananas, watermelon, stuff like that is really good. Um, but that will keep me going mostly in the daytime and I'll talk about breakfast in a minute. But my other little habit is frozen stuff. So into the freezer. I just really like frozen watermelon and frozen fruit. Like let it defrost a little bit and it's just this really nice frozen snack. I also get these like shaved ice cup things. So uh, before I go to bed, just as like a little treat, it's basically just like an ice lolly, but in a cup, which is really nice. Um, and then again, these, spend way too much money on these. Kodak, Kodak, whatever, anyway. They're waffles with protein in them. They are the bomb. I really don't know why they're not in the UK or Europe because they are absolutely amazing. And actually, I listened to the podcast from the founders of these um, and it's a really interesting story. So it makes me like them even more, knowing the story about how they started. It was the guy's mum who used to make like multi-grain pancake mix and then they were going for like 20, 30 years and finally broke out and became like a national brand. So it's a really cool story. But um, if you look at the macros on these, so like per, per, per two waffles, it's only seven grams of sugar, but 12 grams of protein, and more importantly, like 25 grams of carbs. So they're really good to have for breakfast with yogurt and some frozen fruit. Frozen fruit. Um, or before I go to bed, like if I wanted a snack, I would have like yogurt, some honey, and some of these. So it's just a really nice amount of carbs, really low sugar for what they are, and a great amount of protein. So it's just a really good snack to have. Uh, I will also take some home on the airplane with me. So that's the freezer. Entry, please. <laughs> so, here's my cupboards. Honey, because it's nice. You can put it in porridge on a bagel. You can put it with the pancakes. You can put it with yogurt, whatever else. Um, and also, I really struggle to get enough calories in because I don't have a lot of time where I eat in the day. And I do train a lot, so I need to try and get through that. Um, jam, again, for bagels. Um, bagels. These are again a little bit higher protein, uh, so 11 grams of protein per bagel, and they have five different uh, super grains in these, so it's not just like a bog standard white bagel, it's got a higher amount of grains in there. Uh, it's 48 grams of carbs, but again only five grams of sugar, so really low sugar, really high carbs, really good amount of protein, like 11 grams. And to be honest, in America particularly, it's difficult to get things that are not high in sugar, um, so these, I think they're Dave's. Dave's Killer Bread. Uh, they're really good, so I know to get those. 
porridge pots. Um, I'm lazy as fuck and I can't be bothered making porridge. So these little porridge pots are pretty good. Again, 37 grams of carbs, a little bit more sugar in this because it's like cinnamon and brown sugar, so it's like 14 grams. But having this in the morning, particularly before training, is fine. That's going to fuel me for what I need. Um, we have plain white rice. Again, super lazy. Just when you're traveling, the last thing you want to do is overly cook and spend so many times cooking. So just being able to throw that in the microwave is good. Also, I buy lots of lemons and limes because I really like to like chop them up, squeeze them in with the rice, makes it feel a bit more fresh. Uh, Belvita, again, like I live off these things. Um, I'll have like two packs a day. Again, reasonably quite high in carbs. Sugars are really low. I mean, there's not a lot of protein in these. They're just biscuits, but they're all right. They're good biscuits. For uh, gummy worms. So again, mid training sessions when it's like two, three hours, uh, chucking some of these in. They're sweets, like they're sweets. I can't pretend that they're really healthy for you because they're not the sweets, but they do a job. Uh, barbecue sauce, that is pretty much it. So I'm really boring, I'll eat kind of the same stuff. I have my little like lunch bag with me everywhere I walk, like a little kid going around my lunch bag. But in the day, I'll start off pretty much with a bagel, porridge, uh, protein bar, I bet the last one would usually be in there. Um, I'll then make sure I have like something just before I'm gonna train, so probably a piece of fruit. Then I would have that meal that I showed you that I prepped from the night before. I then try and eat probably something else again, so a protein shake and some Belvita, uh, maybe another bagel. Then if I train again, and then in the evening I'm gonna make myself, which is probably like rice and steak, and then have uh, ice lolly, maybe some more like protein waffles and a bit of yogurt, especially if I've got a big training date the next day, or if it has been a very stressful day. We're gonna go for frites, which is French for fries, um, but yeah, I like potatoes. I think I'm in America, I should be able to have fries. So now and again, that's okay. But the biggest key thing is trying to not eat out too much when you're over here, particularly when you've traveled nine hours on a flight, your stomach balance is all kind of weird. So eating as clean as you can, but making sure that you get plenty of calories in, plenty of carbs, uh, and making sure I'm fueled. So that is what I eat when I'm away. Really boring, really regimented but also how I buy, so I try and not spend a lot of money and I buy simple things that can last me and work through them. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll do a video to show you what I eat and how I buy stuff when I'm at home.